Some religious leaders in Nigeria are even more corrupt than Nigerian politicians, EFCC chairman said. Let me explain. In a recent event where EFCC chairman was addressing the audience, he told them that some religious organizations in Nigeria, some religious leaders are even more corrupt than Nigerian politicians, some politicians anyway, that he has had the cost to recover millions of naira from religious leaders who are using their position as religious leaders to do corruption, even in their religious place. That in fact, there's one of the videos he said that some religious organizations are using their private jet to launder money and even carry illegal things outside the country. Make no be like saying that from Justice Monty the Hera. Hear what he said. I want to plead with those who are religious leaders. Let us use our podium, not only to preach, but to demonstrate. Just this last week, I've had cause to recover how many millions from a religious organization. You appointed you a pastor, you use the opportunity to, that's when you become a big man. We don't even know what you are doing to any living, legitimate on your own. You live on the people money, on the ministry, on the church, on the, on the mosque. You can't even explain your wealth, the source of your wealth. If you are not accountable as a religious person, and you expect the public officer to be accountable. People of God, you want to hear the truth? Some religious organizations are more corrupt than public offices. I have evidence towards that, miracle evidence. It may not be expedient for me to say all that, yeah, but let us go home with that. You look at the speckle in somebody's eyes. Meanwhile, in your own eyes, there is a log. We preach this thing on the altar, but under our nose, the same thing happens. And sometimes we try to cover up. It's our own. Let us deal with it in ours. But when it is public officer, we go. All of us, we start throwing banters. I would not know ourselves a good. No, we are not. Now you can agree with me that any Toba can be parao, now who they catch be thief. You understand? So there are a lot of thiefing going underground in Nigeria. Remember when I told you that the people who are stealing in Nigeria, the visible ones are less, they're even small. The underground corruption in Nigeria are bigger than what you see. What EFCC chairman just said right now, remember, there's no religion particularly, it's not about Christian or Muslim, religion. Some people are using their position to loan their money. Remember when I asked this question that, why is it that our politicians belong to some religious organization and their life is not changing? They still come back and loan their money, steal money, embezzle and all that, allegedly. So why is it that our religious leaders know they advise them? So it turns out that some of those religious leaders are their partners in crime. It's just that they are in another sector of the business, which they camouflage as a religion. Anyway, make a no go too deep, sir, but you understand what we're talking about. Don't forget to. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.